An urgent search is underway to find and rescue a New Hampshire woman and her child who were kidnapped in Haiti. Now, this is a daunting task made even more dangerous by the chaos erupting in that country. Chris Tanaka is live in the Satellite Center with the very latest. Chris? Now, Lisa David, Alex Dorsonville was working as a nurse for a nonprofit organization her husband founded. She was running a makeshift clinic to provide medical care for kids when armed men burst in taking her and her child on Thursday. Haitians are such a resilient people. They're full of joy and life and love. And I'm so blessed to be able to know so many amazing Haitians. That's Alex Dorsonville speaking proudly, even lovingly, of her experience working for the nonprofit El Wa. That Haitian resilience she speaks of is tested every day. Violent gangs like the one that abducted her and her child are running rampant across the capital city of Port-au-Prince. We have very deep concern for the situation there, particularly with uh, regard to violence and the activities of, uh, of the gangs. Haitian President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated in 2021, and since then gangs have filled the void with crime, rape, and general mayhem. According to a recent U.N. report, Haitian gang violence is fueling a rise in kidnappings, killings, and injuries, with more than 1,600 total incidents in the first three months of this year. Kidnappings alone made up nearly 400 of those crimes, with a 12% jump from the previous three months. Imagine yourself in Manhattan with no police, no army, no governor, no mayor. That, that's the same thing. Dorsonville grew up in Middleton, New Hampshire, and graduated from Regis College in Weston. She and her child now swept up in the violence, leaving those who know them to pray for their safe return. Alex was very compassionate and cared very much for people who had great need. She was definitely um, a very special young woman. And the State Department remaining tight-lipped on details, namely which group it was that may have taken the two and if there have been any ransom demands. It did order all U.S. government workers in Haiti to leave the country as soon as possible. Lisa? All right, Chris, thank you for that update.